Hi guys, welcome to day four of Vlogmas. Um, it's been a hectic, hectic work day, but what I'm gonna do is a brief tour of my comic book row on my bookshelves. So that's what's coming up right now. So you see my Batman short box, which is still empty, but this is the other one that I have. And currently it's not full, but it has a lot of old DC in here. Old Boosters Gold, Catwoman, some more DC. Here's some Marvel back here, $20.99. Some Gambit, Gambit, Strange. Oh, Doctor Strange. <laughs> Black Knight. I don't even remember what that was. Um, West Coast Avengers. And then Spider-Man. Some X-Men. Some old Wolverine. Stuff like that. Um, there used to be a lot more in here. But I've been slowly getting rid of stuff. And selling some of them. So... Okay, starting off is this little weird box here that has a bunch of old comics from Malibu. Um, this is an old comic book publishing company that made uh, a series called Ultraverse that I used to read. I don't know why. They are not that great. But um, Malibu doesn't exist anymore. I think they were absorbed into one of the big two, either Marvel or DC, but they had titles like Nightman. I think they had a television show about him. And The Strangers. I think Prime is in here. Yeah, Prime. Uh, there were some other ones too. Like, ugh, this. This is so embarrassing. Mantra. Look at that. Look at her. <laughs> Whatever. And then, um, what else is in here? Oh, aliens. I really like these. Sorry, they're in the plastic, so there's a glare. But yeah, I really like these. There's no back on that one. Mm. And this is my favorite cover. Can I get it without the glare? Yeah, thank you. Hold on. There we go. Well, still a little glare. But yeah. That's my favorite cover. Yeah. And then behind here is just some books that I got from some subscription boxes. I told you guys I've been subscribing to subscription boxes for a while. So this is a bunch of those. I, I'm not going through that. Let's start here with Abbott. I haven't read this, but I've heard good things. And then we have Irredeemable number one. Oh no, number three. One and two are in a very good friend's hands who I hope is going to return it in the condition of which they got them. But yes, irredeemable, Mark Wade. Uh, Kong on the Planet of the Apes, I think I talked about that. Sleepy Hollow. This is a comic book based upon the television show. You see them, there's Ichabod and there's Abby. Yeah, I like the show, at least the first two seasons, and then it went crazy. But the books are okay. Uh, the Woods. I was supposed to read this in October. I did not. Uh, Steven Universe. I got this at a comic book festival, and the artist was there, and she signed it for me, which was cool. I really like that. And Faith. Uh... I just got these book one and two. They were super inexpensive at the, the used bookstore. I haven't read them, but I've heard nothing but good things. I think it's about a plus size superhero. I don't know what her power is, but I guess I'll find out. Faith. All right. We're in Marvel territory. Here's Shuri number one. These are just a bunch of single issues. Uh, Lando. Uh, Darth Vader. This series was great. I was loving it so much. And then I stopped getting the single issues because when I was running out of space, now I could just put them in the short boxes. <sighs> and then I have also Secret Empire here. Some issues. 
I think I have all of the proper issues of Secret Empire. I like this series. I know everybody didn't, but I enjoyed it. The parts of it I read. I didn't read all the side stories because that was just too much. I couldn't afford that. But I read some of it. I think there's some Black Panther in here too. Is there? Yeah, there's some Black Panther in there. Okay, so the trades. <laughs> About as small as ever. But I have Captain Marvel 1 and 2. Let me switch hands. Here's a 2. And there's a 1. I don't know if this is going to be good. And then I have Domino. I can't pull all of these out. It's just too inconvenient. Um, Moon Girl and the Devil Dinosaur, which I think I talked about. Mar Ms. Marvel, the Kamala Khan ones, volumes one and two. Runaways. This is volume number one. It's the only one I have left because I got rid of all the others. And I kept this one because it's signed. And then the... Ultimate Daredevil and Electra. Yeah, I'm going to eventually just get rid of that. All right. I have Batman here. This is a, not a comic, but like an illustrated encyclopedia of Batman, the world of the Dark Knight. I don't know who the... Uh, ooh, that was loud. But yeah, it's just an illustrated encyclopedia giving you information on the world that surrounds Batman. I thought it was really nice. It was only $4. I bought it used, of course. So I thought for $4, ooh, that's nice. It was a great pick, great pickup. But yeah, I'll put that back. Moving on, we have Batman the Killing Joke, The Button. Oh, and I have this cover. I didn't get the nice cover where you can see a button. I have, I don't know, can you, does it change? I don't know. Mine doesn't really move all that much. Yeah, but there's one where there's a button on the front. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess you can see this in the back. They both have that weird articulation, but I like the other one better. But not enough to buy the book two times. This one-handed thing is going to kill me. All right. Marini Batman. The Long Halloween by Jeff Loeb. Still love that. I think I said I loved it more than Hush. If I didn't, I'm saying it now. In retrospect, I liked it more than Hush, even though I liked Hush a lot. Um, Batman Earth 1, Jeff Johns. I still want my number three. I hope they're working on that. Batman Damned, I think. Issue number two is coming out this month. I hope so. Uh, Batman and Robin Eternal. Um, Black Mirror. Hush, of course. And then um, parts of the Court of Owls series. I don't really know how many books are in this series. Is it just the first three that say owls on them? Or like, I don't have it here, but like Death in the Family and Zero a Year. They're continuations of the story. I don't really know how that's all working. I have to reread that. Then we have my Batman figure from Loot Crate. Thank you very much. More DC with Constantine, Flashpoint, Nightwing, Teen Titans, Superman, Shazam. Oh, here we go. Death of Superman. This is old. Old. I think I have like multiple copies of this too. Yeah. Um, Superman, last... What Superman, yeah, Last Son of Krypton, and then the Earth One Superman's The Watchmen, which I think everybody's read. And if you haven't read this and you're reading Doomsday Clock, you really need to just stop and go back and read this. Um, Grayson Omnibus, I'm still working my way through it. Uh, Rebirth, the first Omnibus, I guess. I mean, Rebirth is still kind of going on, so whatever. All right, single issues of DC. Mostly, this is just Doomsday Clock and some other stuff. And then, what's in here? Oh, there's Catwoman also. I think I showed you those before. I don't know if I showed you these. The Omega Man comics. I like these. These old ones. Oh, let's keep going. Vertigo is next. We have hardbound editions of the first and second volumes of Fables. 
which I actually am enjoying. Um, I've been lucky enough to get these first two volumes really cheap from the used bookstore. So I just picked those up instead of picking up the trades paperbacks of these because I am liking it. So I intend to keep it. I have some extended universe books. Also the fables 101, no 100, 1001 nights of snowfall. And then I have the fairy series parts of it and the ever after that's also part of the Ferris universe. Moving on, we have Clean Room, which I discussed before. And then Coffin Hill, which I don't think I've ever discussed. This is a uh, witch story. Story about witches. Well, not really, but there are witches in it. <laughs> um, this is the girl who played with fire and the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. I still have not been able to hunt down a copy of the girl with the dragon tattoo. They come in two volumes, so I have to just keep looking. Invisibles number one, Grant Morrison. V for Vendetta, Alan Moore. Another one that honestly I didn't... I don't know how I felt about Viva and Vendetta when I first read it, but it grew on me. And then I saw the movie and I hated it <laughs> the first time I saw it. And then it also grew on me as I watched it. And then it just became one of my favorite movies. But yeah, I did not like the story in the beginning. I don't know why. It just didn't resonate with me. And then over time, I read it again and then I watched the movie but then I watched the movie again. I'm repeating myself. But yeah, in other words, I like it now. But it took a minute for me to get here. Uh, Why the Last Man? I only have two copies, one and four. I have basically sold the rest of my um, other editions because I'm prepping to buy hard editions of this series. So I'm getting rid of this. That's why it's so bare. Um, this little bin here is basically where I put just new issues that I pick up. Juke Joint, Blackbird, what else is in here? Um, 1975, The Wicked and the Divine. These are, oh, this is Catwoman right there. But these Wicked and the Divines are like uh, side stories. They're not part of the existing um, narrative that's going on in the Single issues, I would say. Uh, Friendo, number two. Batman, Secret Files, I haven't read that. The Man of Steel, I haven't read that yet. Heroes in Crisis, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind. All right. And then we have Image. These are single issues, mostly Barrier, and some other single ones that I've read already, like Flavor, which I didn't love, Man Eater, which I'm on the fence about still, and Friendo, which I actually did love, and I have um, issue number two over there. Afar is the first trade I have here. I have not read this yet. I just recently picked it up. I love this cover, of course. And the artwork is really nice. But I just, I don't know. I'm just not in the mood right now. I will eventually get to it. I hear good things. I hear good things. Bitch Planet. Kelly Sue De, excuse me. Kelly Sue DeConnick. This is really good. I really enjoyed it. I hope I can get my hands on more. But um, I was lucky to get this because, man, that dude... I mean, when you go to the used bookstore and you get most of your comments from the used bookstore, sometimes you got to fight to get stuff, especially when it's on the new bookshelf. Like when they get new items, you got to get there first or somebody will snatch up all the good stuff. I was lucky to get that bitch planet. Lucky. Uh, Birthright, one and two. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> Black Monday Murders, you know I love that. Black Science, I'm trying to continue on with that. Coyotes, I haven't read that yet. Deadly Class and East of West, I just picked up. Eclipse, I think I've talked about this, right? Yes, I have. Um, Eden Falls. Okay, this is one of Matt Hawking's books. It, it, it takes place in the same universe as Postal. In fact, I believe this is Postal. E Postal is Eden Falls, right? Right. Let me see if I can get it back in there. Fear Agent. We know about that. Rick Remender. God Complex. Yes. I forgot I read this. Oh, yeah. This was 
weird in a sense it's like um no it's nothing like the wicked and the divine but it does talk about gods but in a more kind of sci-fi digital way i don't know i'll have to think it over but yeah i i don't like isn't the right word it it makes me curious i think I, that's the right term curious i'm curious about it um gothica or gothica also another matt hawkins which i believe is in the same universe as postal i think i hate fairyland um scotty young i have not read that yet but i hear great things again i hear it's really funny haunt wait this is number three where are the other two I don't know, but I think this is Kirkman and, yeah, McFarlane and Capullo. Mm -hmm. I don't know where the other ones are. Hmm. I have the other two. I just don't know where they are. Lazarus, um, Greg Rucka, Lo. This is another one I got really lucky with. Um, Rick Remender, another one of his sci-fi stories that came out a few years ago, I think. But, um, yeah, again, fighting on that new shelf at the youth bookstore. That's what I found at. Um, Midnight Nation, Manifest Destiny. <sighs> I don't know how I felt about Manifest Destiny. I didn't continue. I don't even know if I read the second one. Hmm. Uh, Monstrous. Still haven't read it. I'm going to get to it, guys. I'm going to get to it, guys. Morning Glories. One through five. I have finished number five I still don't know how I feel about this story yet I like it I love the artwork I think it's interesting but I do kind of wish they would get to the point okay that sounded angry I do kind of wish they would get to the point that's better moving on a uh, giant lady hi and then we have Moto Crush one mythic was this Phil Hester yeah I was gonna pick this for October but I didn't. And then I haven't read it. Nailbiter. Finishing in this out this month. Outcast. I don't know when I'm going to finish this out. Well, I'm probably never because it's still ongoing. But uh, I have started converting it to hardbound. Paper Girls. Here's number four. I think number five comes out tomorrow. Maybe. Plastics. Or plastic. One of the surprise likes of the year i know i talked about this crazy one-shot story about a serial killer who's in love with a sex doll <laughs> i mean that was something um postal one and two talked about that powers by j michael straczynski haven't read it but I picked it up based on his name alone. Saga. We, we're not talking about that. Sidekick. Snot Girl. Haven't read two yet, but I am planning on getting to it. Son of Shaolin. Sunstone. Okay, this is not mine. I have read this series. And I borrowed this copy from somebody. And I need to return it. But if you're watching, you can see it's in excellent condition. I have not broken the spine at all. I know you love me. I treat your stuff great. But for the moment, we'll put it right there. Starve. <laughs> I haven't read that one yet, but I heard good things. And then the Tithe and Think Tank are both Matt Hawking's series. Um, I think they also are both within the Postal Universe. That universe is really big. Uh, trees. I know I did a review on book one. I have book two. Warren Ellis here. Uh, of course, the love of my life here. The Wicked and the Divine. We will get caught up. We will get caught off. Wolf. This is something I just found at the store recently. I haven't heard a whole lot about it. I think volume two is out, but I just found volume one and it looked interesting. So I picked it up and then which is um, Scott Snyder. I haven't read it. I said I was going to read it in October. I did not read it in October. Ugh, I'm just so bad at that.
Oh, and Big Hard Sex Criminals. I've been very, very lucky to find these hardbound editions so inexpensively. I have only read this series in these hardbound editions, so I don't know what I'm going to do when they get to volume three and I can't find it. But yeah, this is how I've been finding them and I've been very happy. They look beautiful on my shelves and the story is really funny and kooky. All right, Orange Toscan and a baby Audrey. Okay, we have my very paltry uh, manga, I guess you can say, section. I have Akira 1 and 2. I've read 1. I have not read 2. Ghost in the Shell number 2. Um, Ghost in the Shell number 1, where is that? It might be in the car. Uh, Chrono Code number 1. I picked this up. I started reading it and then I didn't finish. Uh, Black Oh, Black. Death Note Black Editions. I've been collecting used copies of the Black Editions because I'm trying to get them on the cheap. So it is a slow, slow uh, accumulation. But I've gotten up to four. They are in great condition. Oh, here's my L with cake. Yay. But yeah, they're in great condition. I love the fact that people are selling them. And they, I guess, after the first read. Because look at this. This is almost like nobody touched it. Really good conditions for these. And then, um, I don't know. This is just a hodgepodge of stuff. I have The Alchemist here in the graphic novel edition by Paulo Coelho, a Brazilian author who wrote a beautiful book. The Alchemist is a beautiful parable. And I saw that they turned it into, sorry, one hand in it here, a graphic novel. And I just had to pick it up. It's so pretty. I like the artwork. But the story is just gorgeous. And yeah, I like having it in my collection. We have Marissa Meyer with wires and wires and nerves. Number one, I got this in a subscription box that gave books and comics. They no longer exist, unfortunately, but I had never read the Luna Chronicles, so there was no way I would have picked this up on my own, but I did get it and I read it and I really enjoyed it. And I hope to get the second book and I do want to continue the story. Um, I don't plan to go back and read the Luna Chronicles because I don't feel I need to. This story pretty much stands well enough on its own where I don't need to know the, too much about the backstory. Depth, I haven't read this yet. Kindred, um, I have talked about this on my channel. Olympus, also, I have talked about that on my channel. I just got this, as you know, Graphic Tales of Haunted Love. And then my hard editions of Stranger Comics, Untamed, Niobe, and Dusu. I also have some stuff here that I will be talking about in a wrap-up for November. And these are Frostbite, Joshua Williamson, Isola by Brendan Fletcher, Jeff Lemire's Gillian Falls. Y'all, this is crazy. Oh, Swing by uh, Linda Sedgwick does the art, but it is actually written by Matt Hawkins and his wife, Jenny Chung. Interesting adult erotic uh, comic. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I picked this up, Fashion in Action. It's a hardbound reprint of an 80s comic. And the terrible Elizabeth Dumb against the Devils in Suits, written by Arbison, um, reprinted and distributed by Image Comics. Arbison is a Brazilian, I believe a Brazilian uh, artist, and uh, he has his own, I believe, comic book company in Brazil. This was originally printed and distributed in Portuguese, but it has been translated and reprinted for Image. Uh, I really liked it. I'll definitely talk about that later. So that's it, guys. That is my comic book library thus far. There are some things missing off the shelves. I will be coming for my stuff. 
better believe it <laughs> but in any case you know some things will definitely be swapped out some things will be boxed up um some things will be sold and traded eventually for things that i really love and i want to keep i'm going to start trading up to the hardbounds editions like i was doing with neil biter i think i showed that in the last video and some of the comics that are in these bins will definitely end up in the short boxes so that'll make more space for newer comics <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was enjoyable. It was a busy day, so I really didn't have a chance to do like a, a proper sit down video. So please forgive me for not having something truly planned. I hope this was okay. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. And that is a wrap on day four of Vlogmas. Yes! Okay, I'm done. Bye.